Hello my friends, this is Edward Mungai inspiring you to leadership. Well, the topic for today is about being proactive. And indeed, being proactive is about your mindset. Is that go get, get it mindset, you know, go get a mindset as we call it. And until you have that kind of mindset, then indeed you cannot be proactive. And proactiveness is where you drive things, as opposed to the opposite, being reactive. So you have to preempt things. And you know, for instance, it's about your health. How can you be proactive about your health? Is to ensuring that you have a regime or a routine that you follow about your health. Is what you eat, is how you exercise, is when you exercise, you know? And it's not a matter of being reactive because a doctor somewhere have said you need to do this. It's because you have read an article that if you don't do this, you will, of course, it is an issue of you coming up with the idea and driving it to the last end. It's also about our careers, you know? We have to be proactive in our jobs. It doesn't matter what kind of a job you are doing. But you must not only be seen, but you must act in a proactive way. It's about providing solutions. It's not about asking for them or waiting to be told what to do. It's about you pushing. And actually, it also boils back into our homes. I mean, for those with kids, it's also about being proactive in their engagement. It's going that extra mile, having conversations, extending beyond the boundaries. And until you do this, then, my friend, it is not going to happen because this world is for the proactive. It's not for the laid back. It's not for the reactive people. It is for those who are indeed proactive. And as I said, it's a mindset. And we must be able to wrap that mindset in our brains. Kind of to say, well, let me move away from this thing of being reactive. And I become proactive. Of course, you need tools. And some of those tools is you need a routine, you need a prana, you need to have a vision board because once you have a vision board, once you have a prana, you have a clear path of this proactiveness and how you can be able to achieve these things. And again, as I said, it takes time. Many of us start from the fact that we are reactive. We act because we are pushed. We act because we are not, it's not our will. But I'm saying here that let's act because of our own will and trying to push the boundaries. And that is the proactiveness. It takes time, my friends, but it's a practice. Let's keep on practicing it on a daily basis. Remember, the small things is what will enable us to get the big things. So you start with baby steps, and before you realize it, you will be counted as one of the proactive people. Even changing societies, even changing families, even changing workplaces, even changing your own health, and also achieving in your career. It all requires that proactiveness. And indeed, this is Edward Mungai inspiring you to leadership.